All right, so we have the under-17 Reggae Boys assistant coach, Carlton Simmons. Firstly, coach, congrats on the results. Your thoughts on the performance of the team today? Um, thank you. I think um, the boys responded very well um, from the first game, um, recognizing that's important to not only perform, but to get a result. And we're proud of their efforts. Yes, in terms of the two games, you know, you're in terms of recapping the two games, how beneficial was this in terms of preparation moving forward? This was good. Um, in all fairness, the coaching staff, this, this, these two games was a way for us to get a baseline for the team. Understanding that Trinidad is one of the CONCACAF um, competitors. So at this early in the season, we know where we are and then it's going to be the foundation for our preparation for the next few months. Yeah, and of course we'll be aware there have been camps domestically here on the island and of course in the diaspora as well. How have both you know, sides of the waters been on the island and of course in the diaspora? Um, I think it was good. Um, we were able to bring four or five players from the diaspora here to join the team and you probably wouldn't have known the difference. Um, they fit in because our um, curriculums are the same. And what we did, we're just trying to identify players that can fit within the system. Yeah. And in terms of Trinidad, you'd say they provided stern tests for the team? Yes, they did. Um, from a tactical standpoint, Trinidad obviously had been together long, longer than our team is. And they changed different shapes during the game. On transitions, they changed you know, like three, four in the box, sometimes five into the midfield. And it um, gave our players a different challenge, which is good because we haven't done anything like that. So for the players to show us what they have, so this it was a great experience. It gave us a true value of what our team is, a true reflection. And in terms of the, you know, these two matches now under the way, what is the next step from here now? Yeah, so um, we have a camp in two weeks here. Um, the hope is to bring in a few more players with the base that we have, just to kind of you know, change it up a little bit, to give a lot of more access and opportunity for other players that's here, because the process has just started. Um, this is our second or third. Um, training camp so yes that's the goal. Um, coach you mentioned um, the Trinidad team the change in system the change in style of play um, throughout the game um, how does that impact you and the, and the coaching staff and in adjusting and making those necessary changes as well? Yeah so basically what we did and if you realize that we did less coaching from the side because this is still an identification thing we wanted these challenges for the players for them to react mm -hmm. and based on what we see from them it gives us a better understanding of the levels mm -hmm. from which the players are which represent the level from our team is. Mm -hmm. So we didn't do much. Um, at half time, yes, we did do some adjustment, particularly this game. We realized they were coming out from the left side and we made some adjustment and put Jail out there on the right to kind of put some more speed to negate that. Mm -hmm. But in general, that wasn't our focus. Our focus was to identify these um, the players that we want by giving them situations for them to solve mm -hmm. and see if their solutions fit within what we're trying to accomplish. Um, where character is concerned, um, we win one win, 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 no and as I say, they leave it to the players to make the initial adjustments to sort out certain things. What does that say about the players' characters? And basically, you guys are also doing talent identification. From your, um, from you guys' perspective, what do you say about the characters that you have seen so far? So, uh, you don't have to answer this, but I think it's knocking into the locker room. You know? um, <laughs> however, honestly, that was the focus. Um, we left the game Friday. We didn't do anything much technical. We did our um, rejove yesterday, but our um, team meeting and prep was all on character, all on attitude, and we if our preparation today was basically in the hands of the players for the first um, half an hour, because we wanted them to realize this is them, and they and to answer your question real direct, we're very proud of coaching staff because we've seen it. They've stepped up um, even in the game, even in the last um, five minutes in the game. They were in it more than we thought they would because they were tired, their shoes were hot, but they didn't realize they weren't complaining because they realized that this is where they have to step up. So, yes, yeah, big time. One moment, the center back, uh, number 12, we saw him fighting through. And in my mind, a lot of persons were saying, get him off, get him off, but realized that he wants to fight this. We want to go through because these things will happen in game and you have to fight out. There's 90 minutes, there's no substitution, you have to fight it out. Yeah. What does that say even more about the player himself as well? The, the, that's the, and again, yes, kudos to him, yes, he did, but let me give you the. the the kid who we took off before the, the first half, the one who was overheated, um, he wanted to stay on the field. That's how much how strong they were. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. All right. Good luck.